Hello guys, I am Pramod Bosley working in TCS for Digital Profile since 2 years. In this video, I am going to tell you which are the 4 most important things I did to crack the TCS digital in very first attempt during my college time. I know that most of the students are appearing for the exams of TCS NQT and TCS Code Vita, but they are totally unaware what are the things or the strategies we need to follow to crack this exam in very first attempt. Of course, some students get placed for TCS Ninja. But salary is very low, especially when you are living in metropolitan cities like Pune, Bangalore, Kolkata or Delhi. So I highly recommend you to watch this video till end to get clear idea what steps I followed to crack the TCS digital exam. Just in case if you are new to our channel, do subscribe the channel for more such informative videos, especially related to the coding, interviews and placement. Now without any further delay, let's start the video. So let's talk about preparations I did for TCS Digital. First part is aptitude. Of course, we know that TCS is a company where the aptitude is a bit tougher as compared to the other companies. So I know that thing. So what I did is, in order to prepare aptitude, I followed one strategy. First, I tried to focus more on quantitative because quantitative is a bit tougher as compared to verbal and reasoning. In order to prepare quantitative, what I used to do is, I used to go on YouTube channels, I used to learn one topic. And then I used to go on the website called as face prep where I can get all the tips and tricks as well as the important things that I need to take care of it. And I used to keep a note of it. I used to write down all the important things so that I can get easily revised on the 11th hour rather than learning the topic once again. Now once I get familiar with the theory part, I used to go on the website called as India Picks and I used to solve the easy questions. The reason why I used to solve the easy questions so that I can get feel a bit of confident in that topic. And once I get feel confident in the topic, I used to go on face prep because what I felt like face prep, face prep is a website where the questions are a bit tougher as compared to India picks. So every topic has 30 questions and I used to cover all the 30 questions for every topic. One important thing I need to tell you about aptitude is don't try to mug up any tips and tricks or any shortcut formula because when you are giving a test for any companies, not only for TCS digital, but for any companies, you will never get a questions which is directly based on the formula or any of the short tips and tricks. No, you have to come up with the generalizing formula to get the accurate answers what exactly question needs. So make sure that you have strong mathematical commands on aptitude because aptitude is the most important things as it is the first round. Because until and unless we don't crack the aptitude round, you are not at all eligible for the interview, right? Yes. So this is the strategy I followed for every single topic and every single section in aptitude. The second important subject is DSA. So in order to practice DSA, what I used to do is I basically followed one book and two platforms that is Lift Code and Code Forces. The one book that I used to suggest for everyone, especially for those who are not much good in data structures. And that book is nothing but data structures made easy. It is the best book for the person who is starting data structure right from scratch. So what I used to do is I used to again learn one topic. I used to implement that data structure. The reason why I used to implement each data structure that I was learning because I thought that during a time of interview, they might ask me to write a code on any of the data structures like link list, tag or queue, etc. And most important thing that I want to tell you that while learning data structure, make sure you are also learning and knowing the applications of each data structure. Interestingly, don't just mug up the general or local examples like what is stack, keeping books on each other, wearing the bangles. Don't just learn those kind of applications for any of the data structures. Know the actual technical applications of each and every single data structure because tell me the applications of stack, tell me the applications of link list. This is a mandatory question that always comes in any of the technical round. Now, in order to practice questions on every single things that I was learning, I use the two platforms that is lead code and one for code forces. The reason why I used to do practice on code forces was because to get familiarized with the mathematical skills. Because the companies like Infosys, Pipro, Capgemini, TCS focuses more on mathematical questions, string questions, array questions rather than some advanced data structures. So in order to get familiarized with mathematical questions, you can practice easy questions on code forces. Now in order to become some good in data structures, go and practice questions on lead code. Because what I felt like lead code is the best platform to master the data structure. Now the question comes, you don't need to master all the data structure for sure because they are not going to ask you every single thing. Even if you are good enough in linear data structure, that will help you for sure. So this was all about data structure. Now 
talking about the technical subjects i prepared and that was three important subjects i prepared really well that is database operating system c++ and c in order to cover the operating system i used a book called as operating system concept by galvin it is a standard book for operating system but it is the best book yes some people feel that language is bit harder of course because if you try to read any standard book for any subject the language is bit harder but let me tell you one thing that the person who is able to grab the knowledge from the standard book he will be unstoppable in that subject because he will gain a throughout knowledge of that subject so make sure that you are good enough in the subjects like database operating system c++ and c right so these are the subject that help me and for your kind of information i have already made my interview experience on tcl digital you can go and watch that video that i explained everything what questions were asked on which subject they focus more and everything right so these are the things that i prepared really well and most important thingly i prepared all the subject two months before my actual interview and that got me a boost in my confidence so that i can practice more rather than learning more because practice makes man perfect rather than learning the things because if you are simply learning it and you are not application it you don't know the applications you are not implementing it so during a time of interview there might be high possibility you might forget the things so this was all about the technical subject now let's talk about the hr section for your information i'm going to tell you one thing that in order to prepare hr questions i was researching the things for nearly 2 to 3 days because what happen is most of the time people ignore the hr questions are ye to bahut easy hai ye to ho jayega yaar what are your salary expectation where do you see yourself in next 5 years ye to bahut easy hai no always remember don't ignore any of the hr questions because hr questions when you read it its meaning seems to be different and behind the back the meaning of the questions is different for your information if i try to tell you where do you see yourself in next 5 years what people feel like after 5 years in which position i would be in that company but this is not the actual meaning of that question the actual meaning of that question is just interviewer want to test you how long you are going to stay in that company and that is the reason why he is asking you about 5 years not just about 2 or 3 years he is asking about 5 years because there might be a possibility that you are joining the company just to gain experience and you might resign earlier in order to know this that is the reason why they are asking make sure hr questions you prepare really well there are tons of hr questions but the frequently asked hr questions are like introduce yourself what are your hobbies what are your weaknesses strength where do you see yourself in next 5 years and tricky questions like what are your salary expectation write it down on the notebook don't just mug up it write it down because when you write it down it go in your head for longer period of time and there is less work possibility that you can't forget during a time of interview so this was about the hr questions i have already made a playlist on the hr questions in detail explanation what is the correct way to give the answers what is the wrong answers people give you can go and watch the playlist link will be given in the description box so this was all about the hr question now when i received a mail from tcs that i got selected for tcs digital again there was one round of coding which of nearly one hour and two coding questions i need to solve and i solved both the questions in just 23 minutes the reason for this is because i was practicing a lot on lead code and code forces and that gave me confidence to solve any of the question so that is the reason why i says that practice more especially aptitude and dsa because without this you will never be able to give any of the interview right now when i received the mail from tcs that you got selected for an interview after clearing the tcs digital advanced coding round i informed my tpo in my college that i got a mail for interview so what i suggested them is just please take my mock interviews so that i can test whether i'm ready for the actual interview or not so there were four teachers from my college who took my in mock interview on java c++ and many different things and for your information let me tell you that whatever the mock interview we took nearly 10 to 12 questions were as it is in my actual interview so this mock interview really helped me in my actual interview same way if you want to book the mock interview you can book the mock interview with me as well and the last and the most important thing i will to tell you that the mistakes that you need to avoid make sure that you are thoroughly prepared before appearing to the actual interview because it is the first interview normally what happen is if you get rejected from one interview now your confidence decreases which totally affects to the next company so make sure that you are thoroughly prepared before going to the actual interview 
right the second important thing is don't ignore the hr questions because hr questions plays a crucial role nowadays companies are bifurcating their interview rounds into the technical rounds and the hr rounds you might be good sound in technical but most of the students get rejected from the hr rounds second important thing keep your resume neat and clean don't add unnecessary things like addresses hobbies languages you know not at all needed your ats friendly resume should be present rather than just making columns and copying others template keep authenticate informations on your resume because your resume is nothing but it is a question bank also at the same time be honest to the interviewer if you don't know the question answers to any of the question don't try to tell anything just like we tell in oral exam no just keep and be honest that i'm not aware about that subject so this was the short video i wanted to make you that what are the things that help me to crack tcs digital in my first attempt if this video has helped you a little bit do subscribe the channels and share with your friends so that they can get familiar with things that needs to be done and needs to be avoided before your actual interview